Archbishop Justin Welby visited the James Smith Cree Nation in northeastern Saskatchewan, where residential school survivors shared their stories of abuse and suffering. Welby expressed his remorse for what they went through. I am sorry. I am more sorry than I can say. I am ashamed. I am horrified. Indigenous leaders say the Archbishop's apology was a crucial step to achieving truth and reconciliation. And survivor Dennis Sanderson says he accepts the Archbishop's apology for what happened to him in the Anglican-run schools. I, I grew up to forgive in the later years of my life to forgive what has been given to me, what has taken away from me. The Anglican Church apologized for its role in residential schools in 1993 and again in 2019. But for some, like FSIN Senator Saul Sanderson, the apologies are not enough. The pardons that are going to be issued by, by him and the pardon that was issued by the Pope of the Catholic Church, they're okay, but there's no deliverables for those pardons. The Archbishop vowed to make available anything in the possession of the archives of the Church of England. The grace shown by the survivors is so extraordinary, the graciousness. One of them came up to me this morning and said, you know, I slept well last night, I felt the lifting of a burden. It's only the first step in a very, very long journey, but it, it, it was a great blessing to me. It was a very gracious step to say that to me. Leanne Sanders, APTN National News, Saskatoon.